So for this maker hydrometer, you're going to need a clear ruler, a 10 millimeter syringe, a pen. You're going to only use the cap from the pen, a marker pen, some BB ballast. These are just BB pellets, um, hot glue gun, straw, craft knife, and some scissors. You get your syringe, remove the plunger, cut the handles off the syringe with a pair of scissors, cut the nozzle off, I used a craft knife for this, and I kept the angle of this syringe, the syringe goes to, to a point, you keep that point. You're going to remove the plunger from the handle, and keep that for later. Right, you've cut the handle off and you've cut the nozzle off. Now you want to seal the hole left by the nozzle, so you take your hot glue gun and seal the opening from the inside. This will ensure no fluid can leak into the hydrometer later on when you do your testing. Now you want to attach a straw to the top of the syringe. Again, using your hot glue gun, squirt some glue on top of the syringe and place the straw and hold it tight in place, keeping it as level as you can. As you can see, I've done it on this one and this is set hard and as level as, as I could possibly get it. Right, you've glued the straw to the top of your syringe. You're gonna take your plunger and turn it upside down basically. So the point of the plunger is now outside the syringe. You can notice this angle if you look carefully. And this is to ensure that no air bubbles get trapped on the bottom of your hydrometer. This hydrometer used a 7mm straw and a 10ml syringe. Um, this worked out with me using BB bullets that I use uh, 45 BB bullets, but obviously you're going to have to use whatever you've got available and um, add and remove accordingly so that you get the adequate height of the top of your hydrometer sticking out the fluid. Stick a ruler in your photocopier and print a copy off. Cut out the ruler and trim to the length of the straw and insert it into the straw. Make a mark to trim the excess off. Pull the paper out slightly. Measure it with the tip of the, the, the back of the pen. And you're gonna trim that to suit. So when you slide the paper in, the cap sits on top of the paper holding it in place. Now you've got your hydrometer assembled, put it in the cylinder and have a look if you're happy with how much of the hydrometer is sticking out the water just with plain old H2O. In this case it was sticking out slightly too much so I weighted it down with one ball in the top of the cap and that looks perfect. Make a note of where the waterline is in relation to the print. Then remove and make a distinct mark. Once you've made a distinct mark, stick it back in the water and double check. 
Now I'll mix 250 ml of water with 32.5 grams of sugar and insert your hydrometer. This should give you an SG of 1.050, although you won't be able to read that now. All we're doing is getting a reference of where 1.050 is. Make a note on the back of the printed paper, remove the hydrometer and make a distinct line on the reference you noted. Now that you have your two measurements, measure the distance between the two, and in this case it's 21 millimeters. I found an image of a hydrometer online. In the middle of that image, I inserted a column, and I labeled these columns myself. These correspond exactly with what was on the image. Now this image can be altered in size, make it bigger or smaller. Um, and this will be helpful later on when you want to transfer this, the distance between the two points uh, on your straw to the information on the image. We're looking for 21 millimeters from 1.000 to 1 1.050. So let's put it on 1.050. Once you've cropped the size correctly, go ahead and print that off. Once you've done that, remove the cap and remove your pre-printed ruler. Right, you've printed your cropped image. Go ahead and cut it out and you're gonna roll it up and stick it into the straw. But before you do that, Make sure that your 1.000 mark lines up with the 1.050 mark. Once you've done that, ensure that the, bot the total length of this uh, paper that you're going to insert into the straw, that when it's inserted into the straw and bottoms out, will actually line up with your corresponding information on the straw. Once you're happy with that, roll it up and insert it into the straw and you are almost ready to rock and roll. Go ahead and put the cap on the end of your hydrometer and float your hydrometer, making note of where the 1.000 corresponds with the waterline. In this case, it was slightly light. So all I'm gonna do is get a, a bead of hot glue gun and seal the cap. The cap needs to be sealed off in any case because you don't want any water accidentally getting in there without you knowing and giving you a false reading later on. So uh, here I am going to put a squirt of hot glue and cover the cap and this should make it slightly heavier and give me a true reading. Once the glue had set, I inserted it in the cylinder again to get a, another reading. In this case, I had to trim a slight bit of the cap um, for it to sit perfectly and as you can see it's perfect. I made this hydrometer because I don't have one obviously but it would be interesting that if somebody does choose to make one and they do have a store-bought hydrometer that they could compare the two and see in fact how accurate this hydrometer is. I have made a, a rudimentary brew uh, with this hydrometer and it does give me a reading how accurate that is I'm not too sure. Um, the brew did my, make my legs weak, so something's got to be right.